So, how does the soil food web inhibit pests and diseases? Well, if you've watched the animation on building soil structure, then you'll know that a well-structured soil is a hostile environment for most disease-causing microorganisms. That's because these anaerobic organisms don't do well in an oxygen-rich environment. This means that they are easily outcompeted by the beneficial aerobic microorganisms that do thrive in oxygen-rich environments. Access to foods for the anaerobic microorganisms is severely limited by the competition from the beneficial aerobic microorganisms, making life even more difficult. The sugars and carbs that are put out by the plant are released from the roots in order to feed beneficial microorganisms, as explained in the animation on nutrient cycling. Naturally, these beneficial organisms congregate around the roots. In fact, they totally cover the surfaces of the roots in order to get immediate access to this valuable food source. As the surface of the roots are covered by beneficial organisms, the microscopic infection sites which the disease-causing organisms are looking for cannot be accessed. So the plant roots are very well protected against infection. But what about the above-ground part of the plant? Well, it just so happens that plants release sugars and carbs from their leaves too and from their stems and fruit. In fact, from all parts of the living plant. And the beneficial microorganisms can be found there too, feeding on the compounds being released by the plant and providing protection to the infection sites in return. Here's an interesting thought. Imagine picking an apple from a tree and the surface of that apple being completely covered in beneficial microorganisms. What effect do you think nature's little defense force might have on your gut biome? So, without access to food and facing oxygen-rich soil conditions, the bad guys are severely weakened. Many of them are consumed by aerobic predators. Insect pests can also be a problem for farmers. These are much larger than the disease-causing microorganisms we just looked at. But real-world trials have shown that with a balanced soil food web in place, insect pests are deterred from attacking the healthy plants that are grown. Healthy plants produce chemicals that deter pests. Whilst plants that are stressed are less able to do this, and so they're more susceptible to attack. Having the soil food web in place results in cost savings for farmers, as they no longer need to spend time and money spraying pesticides. And they also see their yields increase, as less plants are attacked. According to the UN, pesticides are largely to blame for the decimation of insect populations by approximately 25% per decade over the last 30 years. Bird populations are also crashing as a consequence. There is mounting evidence that the human biome is one of the most important factors in human health. Could eating food grown in natural soils be good for our health? We at the Soil Food Web School think so. For more information about the numerous benefits of the Soil Food Web and how you can get involved, visit SoilFoodWeb.com.